see. Um, hopefully everything's. See, everything's frozen. Okay, here we go. Check one, two, check one, two. Okay. Um, I typed in this first kid movie. Came out in 1996. Um, he had on a VR headset. Um... Shouts out to the homie New Breed. He brought up this topic today. I seen on YouTube about the uh, virtual reality shit. And uh, I want to cover the other side of it though. As, you know, um, this thing's getting deep right here. You know, parents have their kids. Um, well, the kids won't be wanting this stuff for Christmas and stuff, these headsets. And uh, it's not a good look, you know. Um, I've heard even stories, um, people close by where these things, they feel like they couldn't get out of the virtual reality world. They felt like they was trapped within it. Their, their um, soul was trapped within this, in this virtual reality world. And they... They didn't feel right coming back into their own body. It's so strange what this stuff is. So we're going to break this thing down and uh, see what's up with this thing, man. Um, but yeah, go go check the movie uh, First Kid out. Um, 1996. So th that means this technology was was had it been out way before, you know, then. Like, no telling how long this type of technology has been out. Um just now getting you know um popular with the with the public man you know just this stuff is just now getting out there um through the internet and stuff so people's um testing this stuff out and now um the um, apps like facebook and instagram and tiktok all it is about to go metaverse everything's about to go to the metaverse and uh that's going to require a headset um same thing with this thing right here that you see this is what you're going to be tapped into. It's going to be a um, wireless um, headset. This one right here, you see it's wire. And this right here uh, around his neck is a, is a tracker. But um, and that's what this, um, this crazy that that technology was back then um, in those times. Don't no, t no telling how long this stuff has been. You know, people has had, had people with money has had the the elite, the higher ups have had access to this type of technology way before we ever would ever get our hands on it. Um, and they just put bits and pieces out of the technology that's you know somewhat good, but they actually have higher forms of like technology that's beyond anything that you can even explain. You know what I'm saying? So um, you gotta look out for that. But that's what the social media, this social media thing nowadays is going into. Um, a virtual reality world where they want you to interact. Uh, people's going to be able to do all type of stuff in these virtual reality worlds, have meetings, uh, business, conduct business, uh, marketing, um, relationships, sex, everything within this metaverse online man this you know that's how popular this thing has become this this internet this social media this type of technology um that they the, uh that they've been working on for a long time man they they pushing this thing forward and it's it's uh got a lot of our people trapped and um misinformed on what's going on with this thing man so we're gonna jump into this thing and see what's up so um, I'm going to pull this article up real quick. Uh, I spelled it wrong. Got to put an E right there. 
next to reality. Next to the hey. And uh, it was an article that was talking about. Let's see this thing though. I'm gonna get into that in another video. Um, and I think it was the metaverse afterlife thing that they had pulled up. Let me see real quick. A metaverse company is providing the opportunity to live forever in its virtual in its virtual environment even after physical death. Uh Somnium Space has revealed intentions to provide its users with immortality with the addition of a new uh live forever option. So basically you're gonna have you basically your soul will be entrapped within the the these virtual reality universes. And, uh, and, you know, that's messed up, man. That's, that's, that's playing God. You know, you, now you're playing God's work. I oh, know that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's definitely not cool. That's some devilish shit, man. That's some evil. And, uh, we need to come together and talk more on these type of topics. But let's see the, um, let's see. Um, disadvantage of VR with regard to human health headaches just like with any other technology overexposure to VR can lead to increased um, altercations in the brain resulting in head headaches and nausea motion sickness nearsightedness and hearing loss delusions um, so yeah all this stuff uh, it's like it's, it's got you in the brainwash it's got your mind um, off all of reality of what's you know it's got you in this world of, um, well, we already live in a matrix. Then it got you putting this headset on. Then it got you trapped in another level of what's known as the matrix, which is, you know, this virtuality thing. It's just, it's like the technology just wants you to get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it. You know, that's how they get us. And uh, people fall for the shit, man. Um, they don't look at the, the bad side of this stuff. You know, they think it's all fun and games. I'm going to give my kid the new, uh, PS5 with the, with the VR headset. And, um, Ooh, that's cool. But look what it's doing to our youth. Look what it's doing to the young ones. Look what it's doing to the generation that's, that's coming up, you know, after us, you know, um, it's not a good look. Um, so yeah. We move on to the next video. So I'm not gonna get too deep into this topic tonight. So just wanted to touch on that real quick and um just give a little insight about this thing, what's going on, you know, not too much. And uh let's see. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Making the best. This is uh, Ephesians five sixteen. Um, making the best of, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Um, exactly. People. A lot of people with this right here saying. Um, a lot of people nowadays they spend a lot of time on social media, 
um, seeking validation, seeking attention, um, um, seeking all this different stuff, and which is just it's evil. Um, don't dwell in that, you know. Don't 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 dwell in that type of uh, world of um, uh, messed up stuff. So let's see. Do not be conformed. Uh, Romans. 12 to do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable acceptable and perfect you know so that's 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 deep um come right this 10 22 all things are lawful but not all things are helpful all things are lawful but not all things build up Right. Which I could have explained on that further, but you know, um it's dope. Yeah. Be not wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So But yeah. Just a, just a quick thing for y'all, man. Just to post something dope, you know. Um, all praises to all the guys. Peace to all the guys on earth. Um, blessings to everyone. Peace and blessings. And uh, we can keep rocking. On to the next one. You know, it's Blake the Matchbox, Blake the Spinal Form, Blake the Mike Moving, Blake the Hidden Flows. But if you ever want to call me, so I'll just put the Blake for it. Bang.